Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me again. If you're new, my name is Janice. I have some really fun DIYs all Halloween. This is my last Halloween DIY. This is the um, products that I used to make this first DIY. I took this Dollar Tree wood round and craft paper from Hobby Lobby and I'm just tracing it out right now and then I'm going to cut it. I'm using the Elmer's stick, I'm going to put a little bit on the craft paper and then apply it to the wood round. Now I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree Boo sign and the craft paper from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to trace it around the B because that's the only one I'm going to be using. I have so much wood crafts left I figured why not uh, make this cute little sign. Now I'm going to be using this Mod Podge and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the wood piece and then apply the craft paper over it. Now I'm going to be taking this um, <clears throat> ghost sign that I've used previous uh, DIY using some white Waverly chalk paint. I'm just going to freshen it up a little bit and paint it with the white Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to be using my little knife that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to trim the craft paper. So I'm making some cute little signs because a lot of my subscribers like, you know, the basic Halloween stuff and then I'm going to throw in a few little spooky stuff, you know, to accommodate everybody. So right now I'm going to take some of the black um, Dollar Tree chalk paint, chalkboard paint, and I'm going to apply it on the two O's and the exclamation dot. Okay, so now I'm going to take the white chalk paint. I'm going to just paint the rest of the exclamation point. Now I'm going to take the little ghost and just um, dry brush a little black around it. Now I'm going to take my black marker and a little ruler and I'm just going to create a little bit of lines um, going across on the little exclamation just to break it up. I think the sign is so cute. So now I'm going to take the Dollar Tree um, orange ribbon and I'm just going to create a little tiny bow and I'm going to place it on the little ghost. So I'm going to take some jute twine and just tie it off and then I'm going to cut a piece of the orange ribbon and I'm going to hot glue that around the middle of the bow. Now I'm going to take the bow and I take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue it to the corner of the top of the ghost's head. Now I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to place it down on the wood round. So cute. I think it's adorable. I'm hot gluing down a little piece of black and white checkered ribbon on the ghost. I'm going to take the boo sign and I'm going to take the glue and hot glue it down. I got that chain um, from one of the Dollar Tree, I don't know, I think it was an outside uh, decor. And I just took it off and I'm going to use that to hang it up. It's really cute. I took this Dollar Tree chalkboard sign and I'm going to write the word boo and I'm going to hot glue it to the sign. Look how cute it is. It's so adorable. I'm going to hot glue down the chain and that is it. It came out a cute little sign. And that is it. It came out adorable and this is what it looks like. All Dollar Tree products. Okay, for this DIY, I took the moss from Dollar Tree and the snake from Dollar Tree that I used on a previous DIY. Took these two spiders from Dollar Tree and the the black web cloth. And I took this uh, lantern that I made with Dollar Tree um, paint sticks. 
previous DIY. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to paint these little spiders and make them look realistic, taking red, yellow, white, and black. So I'm starting off with the red flag, red paint from Apple Barrel, and then I'm using the yellow, and then I'm going to use white and so forth. My last uh, Halloween DIY, I figured Earl wanted to say goodbye to everybody till next year. So I just thought of, you know, come up with this little cute uh, Halloween decor. Um, the spiders are coming out pretty good and I'm liking them. And so now after I finish doing the white in the front of the spider, I'm going to paint it black because I want to hide the sparkleness of the spiders. And this is what it looks like so far. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to paint it black. See the sparkle? I wanted to eliminate the sparkleness, so. We have a collab coming up for uh, October 20th. Um, the theme is going to be candy theme, so stay tuned for that. That's going to uh, air October 20th at 3 o'clock. Okay, so the spiders are done, and now I'm going to move on to the lantern, and I'm going to dry brush a little bit of black paint. Just applying some of the black paint and just trying to make it look um, creepy and spooky. You know, it's Halloween, and I kind of went heavy, but it's okay. It looked fine. So now I'm going to take the Dollar Tree candle and I'm going to take some of this uh, web uh, and just kind of like hot glue a little bit around the candle. Um, I do change this at the end, guys. <laughs> just fair warning. <laughs> So now I'm going to take Earl. He's back. <laughs> He's saying goodbye to everybody <laughs> till next year. <laughs> and I'm going to um, grab some of this moss and I'm going to place a little bit inside. Not too much, just enough. Now I'm going to place the candle inside, turn it on, and I'm going to grab Earl and start hot gluing him down in place. So I'm just um, positioning him um, over the top of the lantern and I do in the end put a little sign in front of him. It says, Happy Halloween. I'm using a little hot glue on his feet and then I'm gonna use a little hot glue on his hands and make sure he's positioned at the top because I'm gonna be placing a little sign under his hands. Now I'm taking the snake and I'm going to position it inside the lantern down at the bottom, kind of like peeking out. Now I'm draping some of the creepy cloth on the side of the lantern, um, both sides actually, and just uh, putting a little bit um, to give it some creepiness look to it. So I'm just hot gluing down the spider, um, the creepy cloth on the side, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So although the creepy cloth, the black one looks good, I decided to change it to the white basic uh, web type of uh, material. Well, that is it. That's the end of Earl for this season. He's saying goodbye and hopefully see you next year. That's how it turned out.
for this next DIY, I took two Dollar Tree frames, the Dollar Tree skeleton hands that I used in a previous DIY, and cut them down. And then I'm going to use these two tea lights from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to just take everything out of the package, remove the backing, and then I'm going to take this black um, felt that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to cut it down the size. So I'm placing the glass over the felt, taking my white marker from Dollar Tree, and just going to trace the outline of the glass. So now I'm cutting the felt, and then I'm going to hot glue it to the frame. Dollar Tree products, this DIY came out so awesome. I love this DIY. So now I'm taking the felt and I'm folding it in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again. This is going to give me the middle part of the frame so this way I know where to put the little hand. It'll be dead center. So I'm just snipping a little piece of the felt this way I know where the middle is and then I'm just going to take my scissors and create a little circle enough to put the hand to glue the hand to because you can't glue the hand to the felt. So now that's done I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue the felt down. So now I'm putting the frame back together and then I'm going to hot glue the hand to the front of the frame. Positioning the hand, um, I know exactly where it's going to go, taking a little hot glue, and I'm going to... I think this came out so cute. Now I'm taking the tea lights that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm showing you what it looks like. I cannot believe these are Dollar Tree products. I mean, you got to see the finished product at the end. It came out amazing. And here's what they look like. They came out amazing. I love them. I did add a little bit of the white cobweb stuff to it, but look how amazing they look. Okay, last DIY. I took these Dollar Tree lights and I was going to use this little skeleton that I printed out, but I didn't end up using it. It's pretty cool, but I'll save it for another DIY. Then I got these Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four, these little plastic plates. I painted it black and then the globe, the Dollar Tree globes, and then the little purple mesh. So I'm taking my Hobby Lobby knife and I'm going to score uh, the plastic because I need to put a little hole so the lights can protrude through it so you can see it. Um, it was kind of complicated because that plastic was easy to crack. Now I'm taking this metallic paint. It's gold and I'm going to paint the base of the plastic bowl. This is going to break up the, the black paint and uh, give it some color to it and it looks pretty too. So I don't want the hole to come through the, the little glass piece, so I'm taking a piece of this Dollar Tree mesh and I'm going to cut a little circle and glue it on top. So now I'm going to take this purple spider mesh and I'm going to place it inside the glass jar. I ran out of uh, regular white lights, so I'm using the ghost lights for this, but it still worked. Now I need to glue it down, so I'm taking the hot glue, putting some on the base, some on the globe, and then place it down on the stand. So I need to hide the rim that's showing. I grabbed some of this um, gold ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to hot glue it around. I could have tried painting it, but I didn't think it was going to come out very well. 
So now I need to place the lights inside um, where the hole is. I'm just going to take some of the painter's tape and tape the bottom portion of it and then the little battery pack. I'm going to take the painter's tape as well and this way I don't have to really hot glue it down. Dollar Tree products, very quick and easy and I think it came out really cute for Halloween. And this is the final product. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have um, some really great videos coming. I have a collab coming. I also have a sponsor with um, really awesome backdrops that I'm going to be doing. And I'm also doing a Christmas video. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.